Hello everyone. Welcome to the world of software testing. So in the last lecture, we have gone through some of the concepts related to agile methodology, such as the agile artifacts, agile ceremonies, or also called as the agile documents, agile meetings, or the agile events. So hope you have already watched those previous lectures. If you did not watch it, please watch that videos to understand the agile methodology concepts completely. Interviewers ask the questions related to the agile methodology for sure in almost all the interviews. So you must be prepared on all the questions related to the agile as almost all the companies are already using the agile methodology in their current projects. So yeah, you should be prepared on these agile topics. So in this lecture, let's discuss about some of the advantages, the disadvantages and when to use the agile methodology and also we'll discuss about some agile features. So let's start. So let's start with the advantages of agile model. So the first one is the requirement changes are allowed at any point of stage stage. So the requirement changes are allowed at any stages of the development, even the development is at coding phase or testing phase, even or the production phase. So we can accept the change if you are using the agile model. So that's why the agile is nothing but a flexible model. The customer satisfaction by the continuous delivery. So the customer satisfaction by continuous delivery of the software as the release duration is of two weeks or one month. So we can we can deliver the software or the requirements to the client very fast. So within two weeks or, or one month. The third one is the customer, developer and the product owner interact regularly to emphasize rather than the processes and tools. So yeah, uh, so so instead of uh, like, for example, instead of uh, even mailing, so they, they better, uh, they better, better interact regularly so that they can resolve some issues very quickly. The third one is fourth one is the main focus on face to face conversation. So the face to face conversation is the best form of communication. So yeah, now mainly focusing on face to face conversation. Then the working software is delivered frequently. So we have discussed this point. So as as we are uh, we have a release cycle of two weeks to four, two weeks to four weeks or one month, we can we can deliver the so working software frequently to the client. The continuous attention to the technical excellence and good design and even late changes are require uh, changes in the requirements are welcome. So as agile is a flexible model. So these are some of the advantages of the agile model. Let's discuss some of the disadvantages of agile model. So difficult to assess, difficult to assess the requirement at the beginning of the software development life cycle. So this is because as agile is a flexible model and the customer or client can change the requirement at any point of stage. So uh, it is dif very difficult to assess the effort required at the beginning of the software development life cycle because even if even if we are planning for the effort at the beginning so that is going to change because of the customer changes in the requirement the the project can easily get taken off track if the customer representative is not clear what the final outcome they want so this is this is the main uh, problem or we can say uh, the good thing about the agile model because if the customer representative is not clear so clear about uh, not clear about the requirement or the uh, final outcome they want then they can get 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 the project off track very less focus on the design and documentation so again the documentation is uh, is given a given a secondary choice in case of agile model not for small development project so this is basically a long projects and the 
so again if if you if, if if you are having the small development project so definitely it is good to go with the waterfall or the v model so this is agile model is not for small development project it is for the long term projects the requires expertise expert project member to take the crucial decisions in the meeting so this is another disadvantages of the agile model here so let's move on to the last part that is when to use the agile model so the new changes can be implemented at a very little cost when the requirements are changing frequently so definitely if the client is client is not clear about their requirement as the requirements are not freeze and not clear so that can be implemented at a very little cost when the requirements are changing frequently so if the client want to want to change some of the feature at a very later stage that can be implemented with the help of agile model to implement a new feature the developers need to lose only the work of few days as as we have already seen the agile model release cycle is specifically for 2 weeks to 4 weeks so definitely we are anyone is not going to lose so much of work so so maximum only 2 2 weeks or 1 month work can be lose so this is this is the added advantage for the agile model the last one is unlike the waterfall model in agile model very limited planning is required to get started with the project so very limited planning is required because even even if you are trying to uh, uh, try to plan at the at the beginning that is not going to happen because the changes are volatile or the flexible those can be changed at a later stage then let's discuss about some of the agile features here so the first one is the sprint wise delivery so agile methodology is an iterative development life cycle where the requirements are refined regularly by breaking down the work into small and digestive chunks so this is the iterative development cycle and we, we and we as a tester or a development team delivering the product into the small small sprint so two week sprint or a one month sprint then the next point is that is a scrum meetings so it is highly collaborative working style of the team so instead of mailing it's better to collaborate with the team during the meetings which will result in a faster issue, issue resolutions so this is one kind of feature agile feature the next one is the use of automation so to reduce the time and the manual efforts the agile methodology uses the automation tools to run the automated suits so instead of doing the manual efforts only we can use the automation tools to automate our test cases in case of agile even the unit testing can be autom auto automated with the help of agile agile methodology the next point is the quality product so the testing is integrated throughout the life cycle enabling regular inspection of working product as it develops so definitely we will get the quality product as the testing is involved regularly uh, we can say for a two or two weeks we 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 have we have to run all the automated uh, suits as well as the manual test during the particular sprint so we will get the quality product here and the last feature is here the flexibility and the agility so accommodating the change in the requirement due to the volatile or the changing requirements from the client side so again this is this is basically the most important feature of the agile because as the customer or the client requirements are volatile or flexible they may get changed at any point of any point of time or any in the any phase like uh, in the coding testing production so so definitely this 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 plays an important role so we can accommodate all the changes in the requirements in the agile methodology so the first one is sprint wise delivery scrum meetings use of automation quality product and the flexibility and agility so these are the agile features 
सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फॉर सच मोर वीडियोज एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकॉन टू गेट द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स In the upcoming lectures, we will complete the remaining points related to Agile methodology, such as the values and principles of the Agile methodology. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.